The year started off with Creri, Cru and three of the remaining Flatskins. The young crows were constantly competing for dominance. I suspected that there are two female fledglings and one male fledgling in the group. And the parents had to insert their dominance during every feeding time. Watching these recordings, I learned a lot about body language. With the first signs of spring, Kreri started feeding Kru again. I found twigs all around my terrace. They were already building their nest. And the youngsters wanted to help too. The three young birds still looked very content and relaxed. as cheeky as ever. And Kreri, of course, joined in too. I was very curious about where the nest was. When Kru stopped coming to the daily feeding, I knew she had started breeding. And I watched Kreri very closely. Crows are known to hide their nest and always observe their surroundings before flying to the nest. And there it was, 
visible from my terrace. And now I could see crew in the nest for the first time. Here she is cleaning the nest. And you can hear her chasing the youngsters around. I could watch Kairi feed her inside the nest. And even preening her. The youngsters were meanwhile busy with other stuff. They were already capable of feeding themselves, as you can see here, one of them caught a mouse. And Kreri was not willing to share food with them anymore. And neither was Crew. Crew came out of the nest every day whenever she noticed one of them to chase them away. These youngsters are now adults and able to feed themselves. It is now time for them to join a youth gang, find a life partner and eventually move into their own territory. Here, Kreri tries to chase a youngster off the terrace and away from the food. In this situation, Kreri tried to feed Ku. But Ku had no time for food, she was too busy chasing the youngster away. Kreri followed her into the tree with the food in his beak and while he fed her, the youngster stole the remaining food. This went on for several days until the last two fledglings left the territory. With the youngsters gone, the days became very quiet and peaceful. And then they started again. Hmm? He was asking constantly for food. And there were two tiny little heads visible in the nest.
It was very touching for me to be able to see this for the first time. And because the nest was so close, I could see Kreri sleeping in the tree at night. And then, on May 9th, Crew was out of the nest. Neither Crew nor Kreri flew to the nest. Instead, they took all the food I gave them to hide it. And there was no movement in the nest. I do not know what happened. And to my surprise, they started again right away. Now the trees were in full bloom and their nest was much more secure. It took me some time, but I found a second nest location. And there was already life growing inside of it. Thank you all for watching. See you next time. <laughs>